Namaste. In Ayurveda, we give a lot of importance to our skin because it's the largest uh, organ in the human body. I know that it's not an internal organ, but the point is that uh, in Ayurveda, a lot of information that is going to be processed by our brain, our brain, our mind, is gathered by our skin. If we are, if we are feeling cold, if we are feeling hot, if the weather is dry or moisture. So all the time, we are relating to the environment for, uh, from for our skin, even if we are sleeping. Today, it's a very important festival here in India. It's the Holi. It's uh, one day that uh, the birthday of Krishna is celebrated. And uh, when I went to the uh, street today, it was supposed to be a carnival day. And they uh, sent, they throw a lot of things in you, a lot of things that are very uh, colorful. I don't know if you can see, but it's still a little bit reddish. <laughs> I tried to remove with the soap. <laughs> it was not completely possible. But later, when I'm going to do my self oleation the Abhyanga, this is going to go away. In Ayurveda, the uh, most used tool to maintain the skin healthy and young, it's with this external oleation. In the West, we use a lot of uh, cosmetics based on petroleum, parabens and blood. But in Ayurveda, we believe that our skin needs to breathe. And this uh, petroleum derivatives they are not beneficial for the metabolism of their skin. In Ayurveda, we say that anything, almost anything that you uh, you cannot put inside your mouth, you should not put on your skin. Of course, there are some kind of clothes that we wear, but we are saying things that are going to be absorbed by the skin. In Ayurveda, we have seven layers of um, different types of functioning for our skin. Nowadays, the dermatologist the, doesn't differ so much about this conception. And the oil, it's one thing that ah, it has to be a vegetable oil. It should not be mineral oil, okay? Um, and it should be also be. <laughs> Uh, pressed in low temperature, not high temperature. This is not the oil that you just go in the market and you just like in Brazil, it's very common to have very cheap soy and uh, also maybe some corn um, oils that are very cheap. This is not the kind of oil that I'm talking here that we use on our skin. In Ayurveda, it's usually, usually used sesame oil coconut oil, sunflower oil, sunflower oil, almond oil, and it can also be used mustard oil. All the vegetable oils, cold press, can be used. But the point is that these are more uh, traditionally used in Ayurveda. Um, I have used already another ones like um, um, avocado oil, um, the other one, I don't remember the name in English. But the point is that uh, they all have specific properties. Oh, flaxseed oil is also very commonly used. Each one of these are going to be with different properties. Like coconuts is more cooling, sesame is more heating along with mustard. Every oil has a specific beneficial time during the year of, or the age of the person as we spoke previously. Uh, here now it's winter in India, so it's cold. So I'm using more season oil. But when I'm in Brazil, it's very hot usually. And uh, when it's hot, I use coconut oil. This is just to know that 
we change the uh, potency, the flavor, the qualities of each oil that we use. Olive oil is also um, okay to use, only if it's not mixed with soybean oil in Brazil, they make a very cheap olive oil with this mixture, it's not good. Um, but pure uh, olive oil is okay. And the way that we use these uh, vegetables oils in our skin is to heat up in a in a bottle that it's made of um, glass like this one. Usually I advise the people to um, take like 100 ml bottle. This one is specifically good because you can take out the external uh, cover and they still have, oh this one is not yet with, they have an internal cover that we can put the essential oils to uh, warm it in uh, along with it. But this is, I'm going to speak later. First we put this glass and should not be with the cover locked because it can uh, crash, it can explode inside. It's not going to be a bomb, <laughs> but it can break the glass. And usually you can put it in a, inside a, a, of a pan with water to uh, heat up uh, smoothly. Okay, we, we shouldn't put the oil directly into fire. It can be also in that uh, kettles that you I usually do like this because it's easier to do in the bathroom. And then you're going to put the the oil in a uh, agreeable, in a pleasurable temperature, and you're going to pass over your body in a long movements, and then you're going to apply all over your body. And after one round, if you go another time with the same place and it's still making sound like this, this is a sign that you can put more oil because all the layers should be attended, all the layers should uh, intake oil and this process when it's hot and you do the movements with a little pressure from the center to the extremities, most of the cases, there are some cases that are in the opposite direction also, we can uh, stimulate our uh, skin to absorb it by heat and pressure. In Ayurveda we have a specific massage called Abhyanga that we intake a lot of oil. Usually uh, if you're doing yourself Abhyanga it's going to take around 30 ml to 100 ml of oil including if you put on the head and your hair gets a little bit <laughs> rejuvenated. <laughs> But the point is that uh, in Ayurveda we should do this before taking shower. Warm to hot shower from this area of the neck downwards. We should not heat up our head uh, strongly in Ayurveda. Only warm water in the head or cold water. But we uh, use this oil like soap and uh, this cleanses the skin in all the levels. Oh, my um, skin is very oily. If it's very oily, sometimes if you start using the oil externally, it's going to correct the, the point of oiliness in your, in your skin. Sometimes you need to do another procedure that is with something that it's really uh, astringent and it's going to absorb the excess of oil in our skin. But this is not so common to do because usually nowadays we are very with dry skin in general because of air conditioner, because of a lot of factors. Uh, only if you live in like Amazon jungle or some tropical humid climates that are probably you're going to need this kind of approach. Don't worry, we are going to talk more specifically about this in your session. Like all the details, which kind of oil, uh, what time to do, when not to do. But in Ayurveda, it's usually not recommended to do this in nighttime. It's most uh, advisable to do in 
uh, light time, in daytime. And if you think that the smell is not so charming about season oil or coconut oil, it doesn't matter. Uh, the season oil should not be to roasted, toasted. It should be uh, natural. Because if you're going to go to the toasted one, you're going to be just like a uh, yakisoba walking person. <laughs> not so pleasurable uh, for the others. And uh, you can put some... 5 to 10, maybe up to 20 um, drops of um, essential oils, not essence. Essential oils is pure vegetable oil. Essence is mixed with petroleum. Um, and you can just like uh, have patchouli, lavender, uh, bergamot, um, sandal, rose, jasmine, musk, all these specific uh, types have a specific uh, psychological and physiological properties. This is probably a second step. But after you put the oil and make your self-massage, you go to the shower, you go there for like 5 to 10 minutes, and you should uh, use soap mainly on uh, your genitals and some areas that it takes a lot of um, sweating like the armpits for instance and then you use a uh, towel that is very thin so you can take this uh, little excess of oil that is going to be there and then this towel is easy, easily to clean if we use the towels that are common in the west they are very thick oh this is very troublesome to clean them after <laughs> very troublesome but uh, if it's thin, just hot water and a little bit of uh, soap, it's going to be enough, okay? So, there is a lot of information about this topic. This is just one first talk. So you can have general guidelines. In our consultation, we are going to speak this more properly, right? Uh, be happy. <laughs> and see you in the next video. Namaste.